The Reordering of Priorities by Benjamin Krems Master. A Master Speaks, Volume 1, page 145. Such is the pressure under which humanity lives today that only the few can perceive the transformations which daily are occurring on a global scale. A momentum of change has been established which not can halt or deviate. Thus it is that the world is undergoing regeneration, purification, and pain, preparatory to the creation of an entirely new civilization. The new civilization will be built upon the foundations of the past, but necessarily much of the old must be swept away, corrupt and useless as it is. For those with eyes to see, the new indications are already evident. Wherever men turn their eyes today, a new landscape presents itself. New ideas engage the mind. New structures take tentative shape. A world in flux is transforming itself. The growing pains of change are felt by all. Into this situation has come the Christ, eager to assist men in their hour of need. That he can help there is no doubt, but men must want the changes he will advocate and implement them of their own free will. Naught will be forced and not imposed, for otherwise the law would be infringed. The speed of change will be conditioned by men's capacity to absorb the measures for which an ailing world cries out. Sharing and justice, cooperation and acceptance of the rule of law. Only thus will men find the peace for which the peoples yearn. To aid men in their task, the Christ has formulated certain priorities, which when implemented, will establish balance and order and so create the harmony on which well-being and peace depend. These priorities are simple and self-evident, yet nowhere do they exist to any great extent. Enumerated, they cover the essential needs of every man, woman, and child. The first priority is an adequate supply of the right food. Secondly, adequate housing and shelter for all. Thirdly, health care and education as a universal right. These are the minimum requirements for a stabilized world and will become the main responsibility of governments everywhere to ensure. Simple as they are, their inauguration will have a far-reaching effects and will usher in a new era for this earth. The creation of weapons of war loom large in the priorities of many nations today. From this time forward, these new priorities must take precedence and engage the resources now given over to defense. When this is done, a great creative wave of joy will sweep across the planet, and men in every nation will respond. Cooperation and sharing will become the order of the day, and peoples everywhere will find a new purpose and meaning in their lives. Maitreya will be present to advise and guide, and under his wise direction, the world will be made anew. This time is now at hand.